He is one of my favorite MCs. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome, Shabnam Ji. Thank you so much for coming all the way to uh, be a part of our event today. Pleasure. You know what? Uh, I lost my mother to cancer a few years ago, and she was terminally ill. And when the doctor would come, because they, we all knew that she was terminally ill, a few of us felt that, you know, doctor bilkul cold hai, wo empathy nahi show kar raha, and uh, he's not giving full attention. But the reality is that many a times doctors, it's not that they're not empathetic, but they are surrounded by many such cases every day. And which is why we sometimes create an impression or create a bias in our mind that, you know, a doctor is not putting all his efforts. And did something like this occur to your mind? Of course, Yuvraj was who he is. And, uh, you know, as a mother, what went in your head when you were told that UV is diagnosed with cancer? Good afternoon, everybody. I mean, it was a harsh reality. It was right in front of my face when they said... Uh, Ma'am, can you keep the mic a little closer yeah. to you? Can you hear me now? Yeah, okay. So it was a harsh reality, and it was not that something I could face because uh, my son had just won the World Cup, and I thought he was very fit and healthy, and healthy logo ko kuch nahi hota. And uh, it took me six to seven months to realize, yes, it's there in my face because, I mean, let's say people do not accept that cancer ho sakta hai or hame ho sakta hai. A cancer can uh, sound mild if it's not your own child, but, you know, right, it was there in my face and uh, I accepted it and then we moved to America. You use the word that you accepted it. Yeah. You know, and this is uh, acceptance that comes in because you've been told that you or somebody close to you, somebody you love, is suffering from cancer. And many a times this acceptance is not a choice for us, right? right. But the denial also happens. Uh, I mean, we are all in denial. You know, it doesn't happen, but we are all in denial that we to all in denial. Some of us turn into vegan, hoping that, you know, we will not be diagnosed with cancers, but we've seen uh, people who are non-smokers getting uh, lung cancer. We've seen people who are vegan getting cancer. What is your learning from the whole experience? You know, ki acceptance tough hai, lekin how does it pan and change the life of not just the person who's diagnosed, but everyone around him? Um. I thought, uh, you know, life to change hoi jati hai. Uh, a person becomes a lot aware. But I think uh, at that time, my son was at the peak of his career. And there was so much of expectation whenever he walked onto the field that he has to perform. It was such a stressful thing. And, you know, you are in, now, in the team, you are out of the team. There's so many things. There's so many politics around you. Oh, it now of course World Cup ke time stress ho gaya tha that I think uh, you know to be able to play to perform when the, the you know there are millions of people looking at you and expecting you to perform and especially if they lost you know they come to your house to you know uh, like bring stones and all so all this you know uh, just maybe you know kind of built up in him there was so much of stress and maybe then you don't eat properly you don't sleep properly all these factors uh, started climbing on to him and um, it was a very stressful time for him because he just had one goal in his life that was to win the World Cup. And I don't know really what happened at that time but then our world came crashing down the moment, you know, like um, after the World Cup, af between the IPL, he took his x-rays and we found that lump. And uh, suddenly, you know, like uh, you are up there and you're just suddenly thrown to the bottom of the, of the this thing, ki ye kya hua, you know, like why me, you know, then we had to get up, we had to take things control in our hand. It was not that like he played for six months after that, 
he was detected he went he because he was so passionate about his game that he thought ki you know may if i uh, just take uh, you know these uh, medicines you know natural pathy it will just go away but then it was the in an oncologist dr uh, uh, rothgi who we went to who explained it to me and to him that these are time tested treatments you know uh, with the an ayurvedic medicine it will go it may not go but with this treatment you have to take it so that you're a cancer free person so that was the time the doctor was very important in our life you know who explained to us that these are the stages you have to go through and then you'll be fine and when we moved down to america we met dr einhorn so i believe uh, your uh, doctor is your god i mean i don't know about other people's experiences but you know what he said uh, uh, you braj uh, uh, you know you want after your treatment you can only play cricket back in next 6 weeks or 8 weeks we were shocked like i mean you know you're just getting your treatment and then he says after 8 weeks you can play international cricket we were just shocked so what was the message that you're going to be fine you're going to be okay you're going to be back on the field and this is the thing which gives courage to the patient you know like okay i was very happy oh my son's going to be fine uv was very happy that you know i'm going to be playing again so it's just the confidence from the doctor which gives you and you know like uh, you you're going to be fine that plays a lot of role in your recovery so that's how it was you know i think there's a very big message in here that uh, it's not just the treatment but the the messaging of hope that can help someone battling cancer feel that he can be back on his feet again very important message ma'am yes it is uh what prompted you to start you weekend what was a because you know in everything that people do there has to be a purpose which drives them to keep it sustainable over a period of time and we've seen you weekend making a difference what prompted you and what was the purpose with which you set up you weekend so the thing was when uv was sick uh, he got a letter from uh, a cyclist uh, lance armstrong he was a big fan of uh, this thing and he wrote a personal note to him and he sent him his book that you know i've gone through this you know and whatever it is so uv was so inspired by it that uh, you know throughout his treatment he kept reading that book ki these are the phases this is what happens that's what happens so when a person like uh, a lance armstrong can uh, inspire uv uv also thought you know i have so many fans you know and so many people are going through this uh, you know ordeal so i can also inspire them so this is the time we started he says now they're going to be when he walked out of his uh, 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 when he was cured he said now they're going to be two seas in my life one is cancer one is cricket so he made a pledge that you know earlier i used to say kisi ko cancer hai i used to say oh very sad and this and that but now actually i know how it feels you know when you're sick you're not this thing what one goes through so he wanted to give support you know to people like he wanted to be a role model you know if i can fight it if you can you we can fight it uh, together we can fight cancer so this is how you we can started and you know you said two c's cricket and cancer and there's a third c which is extremely important called collaboration right you know and as an institution which is working towards uh, helping people be aware and then help them get treatment for cancer you can't do it alone you need institutions to come and back you up whether it's a medical institution the government etc what was the support that you got from the institutions to help you on this journey so we have a lot of support from the corporate world and the, from the government also and uh, we are more into awareness treatments and education of the uh, you know children who have lost everything parents who have lost everything we are supporting lot of children with education and treatments and a uh, lot of people have pitched in and uh, we are looking like with the goa government we've done about now done uh, 50000 women on uh, cancer screening and uh, it's just going on we are trying to get bigger and bigger by the day so hopefully we'll get there what has been your experience i mean this goa uh, thing that you did yeah. 50000 women getting screened for breast cancer right you know and we were talking in one of the earlier panels that 
we are finding more people, more cancer cases because more people are getting screened. Right. And then we are also talking about denial. Yeah. So people don't go in for screening because they don't feel that they could be the ones who could be battling with this particular condition. What in your experience and observation that when you were screening these people, how many women were actually found to be diagnosed with cancer and who felt that they had nothing that they were suspicious of? So out of 50,000, we found at least 25 women who had uh, cancer and uh, they were at the first stage and uh, luckily all of them were taken by the government uh, hospitals and they're being treated. So it was a good thing like, you know, it, like, you know, if you can save a life a day, I mean, what more matters to you? So we were able to save 25 women then. Lovely. And uh, you spoke about children uh, with cancer. Yes. You know, and many a times when we are talking of uh, cancer, we are always talking about what the patient goes through, what goes on in their mind. But when children are diagnosed with cancer, there's a lot that goes on in the minds of the parents. And you've been in that situation. I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, you know, Yui was much older, but there are a lot of children. I mean, I know one of my colleagues who lost her nephew a few days ago, a 14-year-old kid, oh. right? What is UV can doing for children? So we are, um, I don't know, I've forgotten the numbers. We are treating children who don't have below poverty line who have uh, no money to pay because parents are, you know, they just want to kind of say, let it go, you know, what can we do? So we are supporting a lot of children with treatment right now and a uh, lot of, um, I mean, children, they're easier to cure because they're younger and, you know, whatever. I mean, they have stronger immunities. And we have been able to do a lot of uh, children who have come out of it. And the parents are so grateful that it's just unbelievable. Have you ever had a conversation with Yui asking him that when he was diagnosed, what went on in his mind? Was he, was until he got that book and until he spoke to that doctor where he got hope, until then what was going on in his mind? Uh, he obviously he was very upset and uh, the question was always why me like you know I mean why did I get it I mean he just couldn't figure it out and uh, he was very quiet he didn't want to discuss even with his teammates none of them knew that he had cancer he kept on playing and sometimes once he joked with Sachin that I have cancer and Sachin was you know he was a prankster so Sachin thought he's just joking but a uh, lot of it was going in his mind. First thing was his career, you know, because test matches were his passion. You know, he thought I can never be a complete cricketer till I, I play test matches. And then during that time, I remember he still had, uh, you know, those intravenous injections and all. He had to go, go and give a, you know, he had to play a match. With those needles, he went and played the match. He got selected, he went to England, he played well, but he got injured, he came back. And, but he was very quiet, you know, he was like, I mean, we just, like, we just looked at each other and then we didn't want to discuss it because he didn't want to upset me. But we knew it was there and something had to be done about it. Uh, Shabnam ji, uh, at UVCAN, you have the opportunity to make a difference to a lot of lives. Yes. Like the 25 women that you spoke of who got detected with cancer, who had no idea that they could be battling with cancer and because of that they got saved because of early intervention. Can you share some story of someone who you made a difference to from UV can, somebody who was detected uh, and you got that person to be a cancer free person? Yes, there are a lot of stories. I mean, like, there'll, there'll be hundreds of stories because UV being a role model, if then they, they always say, if UV can do it, so can we. So th from the book, they get a lot of inspiration that, um, you know, uh, you have to be brave. There are no two choices in this. You can't say, Ki, mere ko lan I mean, I just let it go. You have to take it, and then you have to take it positively. The more positive you are, the more you will come out because throughout his treatment, UV was very positive. You know, because he never cried or, you know, obviously the chemotherapy does make you very weak. But then he would brace himself up, you know, he would go for walks and all. He started making himself stronger. Ki bhai ye hai, I have to, you know, 
go through it. I mean, I have no choice. I either I cry about it and go about it, or I be brave about it. So he was very, very brave about it. Um, there's one instance I know a child in Pune. He he had he was about I think six years old, and he was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, the father abandoned him. The mother w didn't know what to do because she was not uh, uh, like. Uh, able to take him uh, financially. This was early when UVCAN had started. So we took the child under our care, and today the child is fine. The mother is in a job, you know. So they both are very happy. So I mean, this is the kind of difference, and we are very happy to make that kind of difference. One last question. I mean, and I, I you know, I thought of this question when you spoke about that, about positivity. Yeah. You know? And I've, I've spoken with a lot of cancer patients before I, uh, we started planning this oncology summit because we wanted to get their perspective as well. And while I was speaking to someone, they said, Ki, you know, sab log aake ye bolte hai, yaar positive raho. you know, things will, this, is, this will pass, and kuch nahi hota, move on. Is it positivity or is it toxic positivity? Because us time, aapke dimaag mein kya chalta hai ki yaar, kya bol rahe ho? What is your experience when people used to come and talk? Of course, now it's a different case. He's yeah. a survivor. Yeah. But when he was battling with the disease, see, he's always remained positive, even when he was in his worst of state. I'm talking about you. Oh, about me? About the thing? When the doctor told me that you know he can play after six weeks, mm -hmm. he said the treatment is going to be harsh. We are going to be very harsh on him. But always remember, the harsher it is, the better, sooner, better he's going to be. So I always kept that in mind. I, I mean, like, I was alone with him during that time, you know, in America, in a city where I didn't know anybody. And uh, it was very difficult for me alone. Of course, we had friends later, you know, because having a sick 30-year-old child with you was not a joke. and. Uh, I, I just kept, I just remembered one thing. My Guruji's words that he's going to be fine, he's going to be play, playing matches, and the doctor's words. So I knew this is a harsh treatment. And I knew, fortunately, we were in the best care that time, you know, because it was one of the best hospitals in the world of that kind of treatment. So we were fortunate, and we were lucky, and we were positive. You know, <clears throat> at the end, gods matter. Yes, Both absolutely. Both when it terms, in terms of having faith on the Almighty, as well as having faith in people like you, who are gods at that yes. point in time, to the person who's battling with, uh, you know, trying to get some hope of living on. And, uh, you know, the, the C that comes to my mind, that probably helps everyone, the person who's battling with cancer and everyone whose life might get affected, is the C called courage? Yes, you know, and always remember, uh, your doctor is your god. I mean, always remember that. That's what great I words. say. Great words. Great words. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so nice, you know. Some of us are lucky that you have the ability, the infrastructure, the finances Absolutely. to battle the disease and get the best made available to you. But very few yes. take that experience to make that available to those who may not be as lucky as you are. And that's the journey that you and Yuvraj have taken on. Yes. Uh, you guys are blessed to be able to do this. Absolutely. And uh, so glad that you could join us and share your experience with all of us here today. Thank you so much, Abna, ma'am. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.